don't know if it's the right. Smile. Um, do a teethy smile. I don't want to do a teethy smile. <laughs> You're squinting. I can't help it. Hang on, do the one, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> do it again. One, two, three. Smile. Ah, oh, I give up. It's a video. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can see me, but it's 6am, I'm in Brighton, and it's the half marathon today. How are you feeling? Nervous? Tired? Excited? Yeah! And that? And that! because it's a beautiful day and it's just a nice run. I don't know who's more nervous, me about starting the race or Kelly about running it. Amazing, the weather's incredible, I'm just so jealous they're gonna have an amazing run. And you've got a bit of a new one, which is, which is why you're out there. This must be a little torturous for you because look at the weather, and look at the sea, you must anything to be out there, innit? Yeah, they're lucky to be running in these conditions. I'm uh, very jealous. I hope everyone has an amazing time and an amazing run. If you could give anybody doing the first time one piece of Welsh runner advice, what would that be for a first time runner? It's obvious, pace yourself, don't go out too hard and then push on towards the end. Okay, so Matt's going to do the four more business uh, when we get going. Of course, he's not a bad boy, half round him. We're going to have the president of the bike, Mr. Fat Boy Slim Pain! Here we go. Hold your line, please, runners. Okay, we're about ready to start the countdown once I've given the thumbs up. Just wait for my cue, guys. Going to stand here and dance in the meantime. Oh, By the way, myself and Jack are back on air tomorrow morning from 6 a.m. So make sure you're listening to Heart Breakfast. Just waiting for the nods. Pace yourselves. This is the man with the power, right there. <laughs> like a good looking chomp. Oh. Oh. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go! Go! So my duties are done. Uh, starting the race is pretty simple, really. You press a press a buzzer, 
did an interview with BBC and completely messed it up. Just didn't know what I was saying, I was just slipping over my words. Uh, Kelly's started, she's off. I'm gonna now go and find somewhere on the course to support everyone. Spoke to a few of the elite boys before they started. Makes me so jealous. Wish I was out there. Oh, I wish I was in shape racing, it's so fun. But um, I'll be back. Uh, so yeah, good luck to, actually I spoke to both the Pauls. Paul Whittaker, Paul Graham. Hope you absolutely smash it. May as well put a prediction out. I'm gonna put my money on Paul Martelletti. It's all Pauls, it's Paul Pollock as well. Four Pauls in the race. And my money's on Martelletti. Just thinking about it, it was Paul Navesy as well. I don't know if he actually started, but he was on the start list. That's five elites, five pools. It's basically the race of the pools. So Kelly was a bit nervous this morning, which is absolutely understandable. I'm always really nervous before a race. And I was trying to remind her, this isn't her goal. She only entered this race a few weeks ago. Um, this race for her is just a, just a nice 13 mile tempo, pretty much. No pressure, she can just go out and enjoy it. Uh, you know, her goal is Manchester Marathon. She needs to remember that you can't peak for every race. When you're running on tired legs and you're not uh, phys physically or mentally prepared to smash that race, then you can try and not be worried about it because you just get to enjoy race atmosphere for what is just a normal run. Kelly can pass. She looked really comfortable, doing amazing. It is hot though. Uh, I was saying it was ideal conditions earlier, but I think it's too warm. Oh, 
So it may have been three pulls on the podium, uh, but it didn't get my bet right. There's actually another Paul, Paul Graham, who told me that Paul Navesy was going to win today. But I didn't believe him. But now I do. What a run. Well done, guys. You're doing amazing. Well done. Woo! Brilliant running. Well done. Well done, guys. I absolutely love race day. Look at them. Amazing. Well done guys, you're doing amazing! Last push, really strong! Go on Leon, you got this! Well done guys, really good, brilliant! Well done Lloyd, really strong! Brilliant, well done! Well done, really good! Well done Matt, looking good mate! Well done, guys! Really good, guys, really strong, not long left. Doing so well. Sunny weather has helped. Uh, Kelly's just gone past, doing amazing. I'm losing my voice. Uh, got massively carried away with the cheering. Um, do you know, I was really enjoying it. Though. I was getting really into it. <laughs> I was like, if they had a name on, on their top, I'd shout their name. If they didn't, I'd sort of like give them a nickname. So obviously, some people were just like yellow or orange. Then you got beard and all sorts of nicknames basically but it was uh it was really fun i really enjoyed it uh loads more people to come in but i'm going to go meet kelly and then maybe do a bit more cheering after that i've decided that cheering is actually is actually probably harder than running that's my uh that's my theory anyway oh for one you've just got to be got to constantly on it i don't want to let anyone down i feel like i did I tried not to. Uh, oh look at this atmosphere it's incredible Is that a video or a picture? A video? Oh, no video. Hold on. What do you want, to review my race? Yeah. And afterwards, the camp. It was very warm, very nice. You can check them out online. Pretty pretty scenery. And water. Very good prize. Lovely runners. It was a nice, nice race. I liked it. I'd say 9 out of 10. You heard her. <coughs> Can't hear me because I've lost my voice, but 9 out of 10. Very hot though, really tough conditions. <laughs> Ice cream's done and now we're gonna go for a swim. Up we go. 